here is my young juvie male uh, Gramostola Pulchropes, the Chaco Golden Knee. And he's kind of hit or miss when it comes to feeding on camera as well. Let's see if I can find a... I think I'll actually give this one a cricket. Because the mealworms I have are left are, in my opinion, a little, little bit too small. Let's see. These crickets may be too big, though. It's a weak cricket. That uh, doesn't seem to want to eat. Oh, well, trick me. <laughs> you tricked me. Well, I'm glad. It's always nice to see our little Chacos eat. <laughs> Very cool. All right, let's move on. You still haven't molted. I tell you, you're just keeping me on the edge of my seat. This is my Brachypalma Amelia, the Mexican red leg. Slow to molt. But just going to make sure it's got plenty of water and uh, leave it in as an update, but cute as can be. Can't wait to see that triangle start forming on the carapace. Then maybe I can name if it's a boy Zorro or something. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Here's my mature male, Hitherotheli villicella. And yeah, he's an adult, but he's tiny. So I will include him with the uh, sling feeding video. He's just a little guy. Alright, let's see, where did that worm go? This one has not been eating on camera. So, good luck with that. Let's see, you gonna eat? Are you gonna still act all uh, ready to mate or something? Oh, well, okay then. There you go. Here, have another. <laughs> Good for you. Nice to see you eat for a change. All right, well, you enjoy. Next. Here is my Aphonopelma calcotes, the desert blonde. A very very slow grower. Now where do you think you're going? Definitely not one of my best eaters. You wouldn't think that by looking at the abdomen, but it's been that size for quite a while now. Right? Right. Which is why I'm not going to feed you today. But you are so cute to look at. All right, we'll move on. Well, there's the rear end of my Polynobius muticus, the king baboon. And, well, slightly better view. I'm going to put a uh, mealworm in there. A couple, actually. And uh, since this is a burrower, uh, it should be able to easily find it if it were to escape. Let's see. Got some more. There we go. But uh, usually not one to take food on camera, but that's okay. May have once, but you enjoy. All right, moving on. Look at that. That is my newly molted. Itero, uh, Aridopelma hirsutum, the ribbed tree spider, and uh, should readily eat. Uh, I think I gave it a bonus treat though recently, I think. But yeah, it, it uh, has definitely hardened up. Well, hello there. Wow, look at that. Man, isn't that gorgeous? 
I think she's freaking out because I got the overhead uh, fan on and she feels the, the draft. He, she, I don't know the gender. Oh, man. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, did I give you a dead one? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Well, you got one there. And... Yeah. See if she grabs them. Hopefully she's not spooked too much. But, man, did you see that red on the abdomen? Oh. Oh, that was so vibrant. Here's the underside. Man. Gorgeous. I'm hoping she'll take it on camera. She's usually a good tong feeder, but I think that fan uh, overhead is creating too much of a draft and spooking her. Come on, you gotta eat. Now she doesn't want to eat on camera this time. So, anyway, you at least got to see her beautiful colors. So, I'll just leave that in as an update and uh, give her a little bit of a drink down there. Alright, next! Here is another freshly molted tea, uh, Vicularia Minatrix, the uh, Venezuela Red Stripe. And let's see if uh, she will readily uh, take food, unlike the uh, Hercetum. Uh, spooker. Uh. That one may actually be a little too big. Let me do this one right here. I tell you, they are just not cooperating. I got you some worms, hon. Come on. Eh, she's not wanting to tongue feed this time. Yeah, I guess she doesn't like the, the air blowing either. But boy, is she a looker too. I'm just saying a she because of wishful thinking, honestly, don't know. Wow. Avix are definitely uh, adorable tarantulas. Oh, there you go. Oh, good for you. You are so sweet. I'm so glad that you found that so you can enjoy it. So precious. <laughs> and thank the Lord they do keep their abdominal pattern. That makes me very happy. So sweet. <laughs> all right well we'll let you eat in peace and i got you a bonus one in there all right you enjoy here's one of my new tarantulas this is the somapoas pol polker the panama blonde you want tongue feed for me Of. Well, I'm gonna see if I can try this again here. Oh, well, well, I just dropped it. Let me get a... Hold on a minute. Well, she took the cricket like a champ, and unfortunately, you didn't get to see it. 
But yep, Samopoas Polker is adapting well to her new home. Alright, moving on. Here is my Brachypalma albiceps, the Mexican Golden Red Rump. And let's see if this is what I would like to eat. Let's see here. Get a couple of those worms. There we go. You gonna eat that, huh? No? Aw. Well, poo. Well, maybe you'll get it later. I got you some fresh water, anyway. Alright. You're cute. Moving on. Now, where do you think you're going? Huh? Where are you going? Get back in there. Oh, no, not there. Not on my dirty floor. I do, uh, as you know, all of my uh, rehousings in here so this floor doesn't stay clean for very long. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, I got a cricket in there for you. This is my Aphonopelma marxi. And what's the common name? Grand Canyon Black. And right now she, he wants to go on an adventure. Just like my Uaphilus. Can you please crawl up my finger? You're just too small for me just to pick up. Here we go. <laughs> there. <laughs> when I close the lid, I'll have to make sure I don't catch her leg in there. Right. Look, I got a cricket in there for you. Well, anyway, as you can see, this new Ophonopelma is doing awesome. <laughs> So, we'll just check on it later. Alright, moving on. Alright, so what do you do uh, when you have tarantulas this small that are an eighth of an inch? Or even smaller? You give them flightless fruit flies. Or you give them those micro crickets. Very, very tiny, which thankfully I do have. Uh, or you can give them a larger prey that is pre-killed. And they will very gladly suck the juices out of it. Uh, this is, are you going to try to come out to, no, we are not going to do that. No, we are not. You get back in there. You're too small to find. You would be the needle in the haystack. This is my, uh, pseudo, let's see, pseudo hypolopus species blue. The Colombian blue. So, you see these right here? I have some very tiny crickets in here. Some of them are still too large. But because this tarantula is like incredibly small, I'm going to uh, pre-kill uh, one of these by crushing its head. So, hopefully uh, this one will get a benefit out of that. Alright, move on to the next one. Tiny little thing. And here is my one eighth of an inch Euaphilus species red doing fabulous. And what was the common name of this one? Let me double check. It's hard to keep up with all these teas, you know? Oh, goodness. I do. Oh, is that it right there? I have to cheat. I don't remember. I'm cheating. Oh, I found it right there. Well, I hope you're enjoying looking at her anyway. 
or him, whatever. Um, well, that stinks. I can't find it. Yafless species red. See, that's why I hate common names. Ah, there we are. The Chilean red. Duh. <laughs> what a cutie, huh? Well, I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, Pre-kill um, a cricket too big for it. And, uh, and hopefully it'll get something out of that. All right, I have three more tarantulas left. Next. And here are my two Hopalopus species pumpkin patches. Doing fabulous. So uh, just like with the others, I'm going to drop a uh, maimed cricket in there. And I'm sure they will enjoy it as they always do. All right, uh, one more. Named after the pop singer. Well, look what we have here. We have a molt. This is the Malaysian Orange Huntsman species David Bowie. The molt is on the left, and the tea, uh, I mean the true spider, is right there in between the two leaves. Yes, this is a true spider, not a tarantula. When I first looked inside the enclosure, I saw the molt and I was like, is it dead already? Did I seriously already kill it? <laughs> Luckily, it is molted. So obviously won't be feeding this one. But uh, got uh, plenty of humidity in there for it and ventilation. Uh, so hopefully it'll harden up nicely and then I can give it a feed later. All right, guys, this concludes my sling and young juvie feeding video. Next video, um, someone requested that I do a tour of my sub-adult adult tarantulas, so I will do that uh, next. And then after that uh, will probably be time for the, well, you never know what's going to come up next. <laughs> it might be the large feeding video. We'll have to see. All right. Thanks for watching, guys, and as always, thank you for uh, the likes that you give me and your very kind and uh, informative, helpful comments. All right, you guys take care. Thanks. Bye.